What's up guys, Benji here, and I've got some domination on radiation for you today. Going to be using the M16 with an ACOG scope, which as you'll see from this video is not half bad. My perks are Flat Jacket Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro and Marathon, and my beloved kill streaks. I believe they are the UAV, Blackbird and D -D -D Doggies. So I'm playing with a couple of my mates and a subscriber, big up to... Agent 0077, he joined my game, so we had some good times on the old Black Ops. So, as you might be able to tell from this title, this video is a video of many links. So, in the description, you'll probably see now, there is quite a lot of links there, so I'm just going to go ahead and explain what they are. So, first of all, there is the 32-man commentator competition really I just want to go ahead and talk about this for all basically all the details are in the actual video so I'm not going to talk about it too much what it is is basically me and my friend Chaos Silencer thought it would be a good idea to make something similar to the March Madness but purely for small channels because we thought I don't know why I thought there was a guy down there but apparently there wasn't because we thought that the March Madness thing wasn't really about the small guy. I mean, yes, there was quite a few under 10k channels, but we were thinking like properly small, like under 100 subs, really. So we limited it to 2,500, and so far we've got quite a lot of entries, and we're really, really pleased with the response that it's got. So I'm not really trying to knock the March Madness thing. I don't really want to cause any YouTube beef, as I would put it. But we just thought we'd do our own thing. We're not trying to... Well, it is copying, really, isn't it? But we've put our own spin on things, and hopefully it's going to be a really good competition. As I've said, or I might have said, I can't even remember, we've had over 50 entries so far, and the video's only been up for... Well, this will be two or three days, so by the time this video comes to you guys, it'll pro there'll probably be over 100 different entries, so it's gone down really well. It's been on. It's been promoted quite well as well. Um, we've got some machinima directors as the judges, so it's re this really does promise to be something special. So that is the first link in the description out of the way. Go ahead and watch that. If you want to enter, feel free. I'd love for some of my subscribers to enter. So moving on to the second link in the video. As you might have known, I have just recently hit a thousand subscribers, which is freaking awesome. I don't really want to talk about it too much because I'll just fumble my words because of how amazing and good it is. See, I'm doing it already. Let's just stop now. So I did a 1K subscribers setup video and for some reason it didn't appear in sub boxes. I've had lots of people say it's not appeared in the sub box, so I'm going to go ahead and pimp it out now. So I did, yeah, I did a 1K setup video and the link to that is in the description. Okay, so the next set of links is for a Let's Play I did for the Red Dead Redemption Undead DLC. Now that is some really, really good DLC. If you haven't bought it yet and you like Red Dead, what are you playing at? So yeah, I did Red Dead Let's Play. And because we've been, I've said that I have been was going to do some Let's Plays for all my other games, before all of this commentator wars happened I was going to do that and that was going to start in a week or so and unfortunately it has been postponed till further notice I'm definitely still going to be doing it because you guys seem really really interested in it so it has been postponed until further notice so I thought I'd just give you a little taster of my let's play live com skills so the link to that will be in the description I did five parts of those I believe so you can give those a little nosy a little nosy <laughs> A little look if that's what you're into and the next and final link in the description is for my Twitter now Twitter I'm not even sure about Twitter all the other YouTube people do Twitter so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon I'm not I'm not really sure about it to be honest with you and the game just goes a bit laggy here um, it's kind of stupid how the notifications don't show up 
what I mean is when you tweet to somebody and you want to know if they responded to it, you have to go actually on their Twitter thingy bob and check if they've responded to it. So if it says at Benji on 1 5, which is a little bit dodgy, but oh well, what can you do? So that's pretty much a roundup of all the links that are in the, the description. So I hope you guys can go over there, check them out, watch the videos, and give me some feedback on your thoughts. So that's pretty much all I wanted to, wanted to talk about the links. So we're just going to talk about the gameplay for a bit now. Basically what I was doing is domination on radiation. I really do like radiation. It's a quality map. Basically you just want to get B flag right at the start. If they get B flag with the doors open, then there is going to be some shenanigans, I tell you. They're just going to be flying in from the top, especially when you're trying to capture it. They're just going to be flying in from the top, spamming out their launchers, and you're going to have some serious problems. So I went ahead and captured it at the start. And so, yeah, I don't think they might have captured it once in the middle of the match, but apart from that, the team that I was with ensured that they were not touching it. So I just want to talk a little bit about the M16 ACOG. You probably, I'm not even sure if I've seen a gameplay on YouTube with the M16 ACOG. So my thoughts on using it, I think I picked it up once off the floor and thought, wow, this is actually rather nice. Uh, I used it for a bit. I got, I got quite a nice montage clip with it as well, actually. I got a nice five-man kill feed on headquarters on Jungle, I believe. So I'm going to save that for a rainy day. So anyway, the M16 ACOG, I really do recommend you try it. Basically, it's like the normal M16, which isn't particularly great, but when you stick the ACOG on it, it really, really is precise. Precise? It's got some really, really good precision accuracy. There we go, get me words out. And what is this guy doing? I think he's trying to have a little sleep, on, yeah, doing some sunbathing there. And my final thought, my final thoughts? My final thoughts on the pretty much the gameplay and my playstyle in this match is basically what I was trying to do is keep to the long lines of sight. I really didn't want to go close quarters because it wasn't. Ha it's not really gonna. It's not gonna work out well when you've got the M16 ACOG as your primary weapon. I did pick up various weapons throughout the match just so I could have a chance at close range, really, because the M16 ACOG, like all, not like all burst weapons. What am I on about? The G11's amazing at close range. Spray that thing from the hip. It's like a shotgun. So yeah, I stayed at long lines of sight and enabled me to get a pretty decent score with a couple of caps and a couple of defends. So the gameplay is winding down now, I just want to have a quick recap of the links. So the first link is the Commentator Wars, which is a commentator competition which me and Chaos Sciencer have put together. The second link is a 1k sub setup video and the rest are Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare Let's Plays which are pretty cool. And then there's the Twitter as well. Oh yes, and one more thing, one more thing before I leave you guys for the time being. My friends list is now 100% full. Um, pretty much going to be rotating out the subscribers. So, I don't know, every month or so I'll delete them out. And then I'll tell you guys about it and we can get some fresh blood playing on the old Xbox Live. Having a really good time with the subscribers. So anyway guys, that's going to conclude the video. Final score was 46 and 3, and I'll see you guys later. With each victory, we instill fear. Alright now, wasn't that fun? Let's try something else.